windy. On this mission, I rode on my motorbike 30 miles, being blown about in the wind and the rain, being blown across the road in what was pretty much a storm to try to find a haunted church called Cold Christmas Church. I needed to cross a field which had become a swamp due to the torrential rain. I've decided to show the majority of this footage because it's not that long and whilst I will clip it, the majority of it is ruined by horrible wind noise, which I apologize for, but I think it highlights the point that sometimes I'm out there trying to get footage in the worst type of weather and sometimes it's that weather that defeats me at this point in the journey I was very cold and I wasn't enjoying my time there. It's interesting to note that upon researching, the church apparently gets its name at Cold Christmas Church due to horrifically cold winters that are known in the area. One of the stories associated with the church is that during one of these cold spells decades ago, several children perished who are now buried in the graveyard and are said to haunt the place where their moans and cries for help are said to be heard wailing above the wind Maybe the weather deterring me from getting to the church was a sign that I should not be going there on my own at this time of night in the dead of winter. In hindsight, maybe I was getting a little sampling of that coldness. That's a good idea going that way. Whoa. At this point I pretty much felt beaten. My only option was to go back to the motorbike and reevaluate the situation. I had chosen a terrible night to go on a mission. The journey there on my little 125cc motorbike was a nightmare and to get there and to fail so miserably suffice to say it was not a good night and to travel 30 miles in the wind blowing me all across the road and the rain effectively riding in a storm at this point really all I wanted to do was be back at home so that's what I done got on my motorbike, soaking wet, dejected, and rode 30 miles, beaten, smashed about by the wind, home. 